Hey guys and um, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Dakshina and I thought I would do a flip through of my um, B6 Stalogy um, because I've been using it since end of November, sort of from December and I've used up the whole notebook and I'll be moving out of this into a new one. So I had a few people asking if I could do a flip through and also a few weeks ago I had asked um, on my Instagram account if anybody had questions about my planning style that they'd, they'd like me to answer. So what I'll do is I'll just flip through this and answer the questions as we go. Okay, so the first question I had was, are you always okay pulling it out in public? I feel like people look at me funny, lol. Um, I guess it depends where I am. If I'm at a work meeting, then I would probably like find an empty page. Um, and I, you know, wouldn't really flick through it somewhere like that. And I think also because the Molden looks quite professional anyway, um, it's not, you know, and I don't really use loads of clips and charms and things like that, then I think I wouldn't feel quite um, self-conscious pulling it out. Um, but if I'm, you know, like at Starbucks or anywhere like that, then yeah, I'm not really bothered to be honest. Um, but yeah, I think, <laughs> I think I probably have had people looking at me a bit funny, but I'm like, whatever. <laughs> um, how do you forward plan, um, like when you need to make a list for an upcoming day? So the way I do my planning is I have this um, planner in the back, it's got the full year in it and I just keep that in there and this is from Peanuts Planner Co and I, any appointments that come up or any plans for future months they go in here and then once I get to like, let's say if I, you know, January is here, I'll stick down January's planner and then I will just transfer this information onto here. Um, and then I will just keep, um, you know, like, I basically plan day per page. So if I was on the Monday and I had plans, you know, coming up for Friday, I would just either put it directly on here because I would have put the date header down anyway, or if it's for previous weeks in the same month, I would either put it in my monthly or I'll just stick it on a sticky note and put it on there. Um, so yeah, it, it kind of just depends how far ahead in the future, you know, it is for. But I always like at the weekend when I sit down to plan, I will always put like the whole week's um, headers down so that, you know, I'm ready to go, even if on Monday I need to write something down for Sunday, it's already laid out, I just write it down on there. But if it was for the following week, it would go on a sticky note. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Weeks, I don't really need weeklies. Um, I was using them previously for like menu planning, planning my workouts, things like that. Um, but I actually found that I don't need a full page to do that anymore. So like here I just use this sticker from Erin Condren to plan out my workouts on a Monday. I just do that for the week. And then the week before that I just did it like this. Um, I just wrote down Monday to Sunday what days I would do like, you know, working out or what days were my rest days and also menu planning. So if I've got, you know, a little bit of space on a Monday or a Tuesday to do that, um, I prefer to do that than to take up a whole page um, just for a weekly because I don't really... I find that my monthlies are enough for me, um, you know, to work off from. Um, did you ever consider a bullet journal in the Leutrum instead of a B6 Stalogy? Um, I do actually have a Leutrum that I used for homeschool um, notes and things like that. But the reason I chose a Stalogy, um, I think that was one of the other questions as well, is why, why do I use a Stalogy, is because... The paper, first of all, is very thin, um, so, I mean, you can see my planner is very chunky and that's because I've added, you know, vellum and acetate to it, um, but it's also, it has 365 pages, so it is quite, you know, like the notebook is quite, you know, a thick notebook as it, you know, on its own anyway. Um, 
and I think that's why I um, sorry my phone's beeping <laughs> let me just switch that off um, yeah that's why I use the style issues because I wanted a planner that had 365 pages I knew I wouldn't be able to use just one of these notebooks for the full year because you know I stick monthlies in there sometimes I have you know weeklies but mostly because I take so many notes as you can see I knew I would need at least two um, and with the Leutrum that would have been probably more than two notebooks and that's why I went for the Stalogy instead um, I do like the paper in the Leutrum of course um, but again I do prefer this like kind of very thin paper I'm not sure why I think um, I like the sound of it I like the feel of it I like the way my pens write on it um, so yeah uh, what is your planning system? So my planning system is um, just monthlies. So I work off, you know, my monthly and then I do day per page. And as you'll see, like the style itself changes week to week. Uh, sometimes on busy days, I do like a timed um, kind of daily with a list. Sometimes I'll put like to call, to email. Sometimes if I've only got one appointment or no appointments, it will just be a running to-do list. Again, a busy day will be timed. So that's kind of like generally my style, but it's just always a day per page. Even if I find like I don't really have tons to fill the page with, like here, I can just, you know, then put in some washi and stickers and be a bit more creative. But it really confuses my brain it, actually if I have multiple days on one page so I know some people might think that's really wasteful but that's just how I do it um, how do I find the paper quality in this allergy I love it I find that lots of fountain pens work really beautifully on it um, so yeah and then there was another question about favourite pens. Um, at the moment it's this Jetstream Uni 0.38. I do love really thin pens, but then I do also love my, um, don't know if you can see, but all my fountain pens. So I don't really have like a favourite pen as such. Um, right now it's definitely this because it doesn't smudge, it writes really thin. But yeah, I, I use lots of different pens throughout my Stalogy. I love fountain pens, um, but you do have to obviously wait for them to dry. Um, and that goes on to the next question, which is, do I colour code? Um, I don't, because I change pens so often, um, when I'm using fountain pens, there's just no way I can, you know, colour code without it smudging um, and smearing. So... For that reason I don't and also I find I, I haven't really needed to because um, you know my plans are mostly like stuff for me and the kids home homeschool and any work stuff I try to keep separately anyway so I love seeing other people's planners who have you know um, color coded it's just not something I need um, what is my favourite planner hack for the Stalogy? I would say just to kind of the ability to add vellum and acetate to it and make it, you know, personal. Like people think because it doesn't have rings you can't tip things in, but you definitely can. Um, I do actually have a video um, on that, so if you're interested. What's the one thing you could wish you wish you could change about your planning in this Stalogy? Um, I think more than the Stalogy, there's one thing I would change about this Molden, and it's that I would add a back pocket. So if you've seen the um, pocket Molden, exactly the same, but it has the back pocket in there. And I absolutely just love that. Um, and I do wish that this planner had it, because I do have papers and things that I want to add to it. Um, so yeah, that's one thing I would change. Um, do you use any other planners in conjunction with your Stalogy? I don't. Not for planning. I have another Stalogy that I use for um, journaling in, which I don't pick up every day. And then I have another Stalogy 
for my um, let me see for my fitness. So it's not a planner. It's more um, just to kind of record, you know, how many steps I'm doing every day, how many miles I'm walking, and because I try and do five miles every day, and then what workouts I've done at the gym and how much I'm lifting. Because I want to be able to look back and see the progress that I've made, um, you know, week to week, month to month, in terms of being able to lift more. So, but in terms of actual planning, I don't use anything else, no. Um, what did I use before this? I've used all sorts of planners, like A6 rings, B6 TNs, pocket rings, standard. Um, yeah, if you scroll through my Instagram account, you'll be able to see... How often do you journal in your page? Um, not very often, because I do share a lot of you know pictures of um, my planner on social media, and so you know I might write something like a note of you know like here, like I was on a homeschool conference, so just wrote that it was nice to have some time alone, and I was walking around you know the beautiful town. Um, but I wouldn't write anything super personal. I do have a separate journal for that. Uh, are there any things you don't write down in your strategy? What do you like the most about your setup? So again, personal things I wouldn't keep in here. Um, I think what I like about my setups is that they're just very me. Like, I see so many, you know, different beautiful pictures of people's planners on Instagram and I, of course, take inspiration from them. But I think I found a style that's, you know, really suits me. It's like a perfect mixture of functional with decorative um so yeah I would say just that I've kind of you know and it did take me a while because if you see like in the beginning I was really not happy with the amount of stickers I was using I felt like I was running out of space so it did take me quite a while like you know I don't know why I was putting full boxes in here but it took me a long time to figure out what my style is and how you know, I wanted the Stalogy to look, um, and it, you know, it does take some time because the Stalogy is just a plain, you know, like a blank page, no structure, no structure to it really. Um, and if this, you know, if this is your kind of style, then that's great. There is obviously room for it. I just found for me it was a little bit too much, um, which is why, like, one of the questions was, what, you know, subscriptions do I have? I was subscribed to Planner press and happy scrappy um and i don't have any subscriptions anymore because i do feel like you know the stickers i use these days are very minimal and i don't use you know full boxes anymore um and i as much as i love them and i want to support these shops i also don't want to just keep adding to my collection um, and that's not to say that I wouldn't use them because I definitely do use, you know, my stickers. Um, but I'm not able to use them as fast as I receive them, if that makes sense, you know. So in that sense, I just don't think it's for me. So I don't have any um, subscriptions at the moment. Um, have you tried EC planners? I have. Um, I probably don't think I will go back to them again just because I feel like there's not really much flexibility in terms of the layout. Um, obviously you can choose whether you want a vertical, timed or horizontal but then that's it really. The only choices you have are stickers or no stickers. Um, so yeah and for me like if you see like the majority of my day really is lists and I mean, there's just not, there's, for me, there's no point in having a planner like an Erin Condren. Um, as much as I loved having, you know, the weekly view, um, I, I, it just didn't work for me. And, you know, the thing that I did like about the Erin Condren, because I did use it for a few years, um, is that I can just now go and pull it off the shelf and have a look through it. So in that sense, for like archiving, it's a fantastic planner. And I think that's probably why lots of people do use it for... Um, memory keeping and that's why I really like this Stalogy as well because I think even with you know if I was using Traveller's notebooks I would have ended up by the end of one year instead of just two notebooks that I can you know 
for the whole year, I would have ended up with at least 12, you know, separate traveller's notebooks, um, you know, one for each month. And I just didn't want that much, um, you know, I, I wanted it all in one place. And so that's why I think I really kind of um, looked at getting the Stalogy and it's, it's worked out really well. Um, do you have a cover for your Malden when you carry it around in your bag? I don't. I just kind of chuck it in my bag. I'm not really precious about it at all. You can see there's like a little bit of discoloration or rust or I don't know what it is, but it's gone a little bit brown there. But to be honest, I don't really, you know, I'm not precious about it. Um, yeah, I don't have any covers. <laughs> um, next question how do you pronounce your name <laughs> okay um so my name is Dakshina um let me show you so it's spelt like d-a-k-s-i-n-a -A. so I think a lot of people say Dakshina because that's phonetically how you would say it but my name is actually um Sanskrit it's from the Sanskrit language and so there's actually a dot under the s which makes it a sh sound um, so it's actually Dakshina and I did consider when I was you know um, yeah when I was writing my name whether I should include the H but I decided to just keep it as it is um, but yeah I don't I don't I know lots of people would say Dakshina and that's fine I, I'm not it's okay um, how come you don't have a cleaning schedule in your planner um, I think because I just have tried in the past and I cannot keep to um, a cleaning routine. Like I homeschool and lots of different, you know, things come up randomly for us to be out of the house. And so I tidy up the kitchen and living room, which is like our main living areas every single day. Um, and in terms of like just cleaning the rest of the house, me and my husband just do it as and when we can really. Um, do I have a separate planner for tracking? I don't. Um, I think if you like see that at the beginning of the year, like the first few months, I was keeping a gratitude journal and a tracker. And I think I did that for about three months and then from April I stopped. Um, and that's because um, these things just became like habits, so these were all things that I was trying to implement in my life, like, you know, I was trying to give up cherry coke, which I was drinking way too much of, um, you know, taking like my iron and chromium supplements, doing my steps, working out, journaling, all these things that I kind of wanted to, you know, get into the habit of um, doing daily, and so this, you know, it definitely helped, um, but I found that by about March, you know, they had already become, I had given up cherry coke, I was being very diligent about taking my um, supplements and working out, things like that. So, yeah, I, I kind of gave it up because, yeah, I don't need to fill in something that I just, you know, it's, it's such a part of my everyday life now. So I don't have any separate trackers. The only thing I still track at the moment is my iron and that's because I have to take two tablets a day. And so sometimes I forget whether I've taken one or if I've taken both or stuff like that. So what I do is like, for example, I've taken one today, I'll just put a line there and then when I take my second one, I'll cross, you know, put, put it that way. And that just kind of helps me remember that I've taken, you know, the amount I need to. Uh, the next question is what um, paper do I print my monthlies on? So I print them on Tomoe River paper because it's very, very thin paper um, and it doesn't, you know, I, I realised towards the kind of second half of the planner that like this is just normal print paper and I realised it was chunking up quite a lot. Um, and if I wanted to continue adding vellum and acetate to it, I needed to, you know, print on slightly thinner paper. And so I had this sitting in my drawer anyway. So this is tomorrow river paper and it's very thin and it keeps the kind of page floppy how I like it. Um, these inserts are from Printable Kate. Um, people always ask me, 
because she doesn't actually do these in B6 size. So I have the A6 rings version and I just print them at 120% and then I just kind of trim off um, the ends a little bit and wash it in and that seems to be like a really great size boxes for me um, in here. Uh, next question is, sorry I'm not sure where I got in the flip so I'll just continue. Um, do you need to cut the strategy to fit into the back pocket of the moulding? Um, you don't. It does, it's, it's a bit of a, you know, like kind of have to shuffle it in a bit because it's, it's quite a tight fit. But I have had the front, uh, sorry, the front and the back covers both in previously and they fit fine. Um, I know that the... A6 Stalogy does not fit into the pocket rings um, and so I, I know a couple of people were cutting you know the covers like the bottom trimming the bottoms off to fit it in but I do actually have a video on how you could continue using um, the Stalogy without cutting it cutting it and just adding it to your molding um, which I'll link below and I had filmed that a long time ago um, so yeah if you if you're interested you can click on the link and check that out um what do i think about people using multiple planners um i think yeah like <laughs> um sorry i think that's the end of my planner the last few pages are kind of like personal work notes and things like that so i'm not going to flip in um flip through that um so I'll just kind of flip through a few more while I just answer this last question. Um, multiple planners. I think, you know, I try not to have an opinion or definitely definitely not voice a strong opinion on things that other people do that don't really affect me in any way. I think, you know, for lots of people, myself included, planning is, you know, a great way to organize your life and help you be more productive and functional but it's also a creative outlet and so you know for me I can pour you know my creativity onto this by using washi and stickers and that you know makes me happy and if somebody wants to use four five six ten different planners and they want to you know and they're using them or even if they're not using them even if they just want to be creative and just add lots of stickers and decorative stuff I think it, it you know it really makes no difference to anybody else so it, you know they're not harming anyone they're not hurting anyone they're using what they have to express themselves so I think great people should just do what they want to do um I, yeah I don't really understand why people get annoyed um, and I don't get why people get upset when they see you know people changing their planner systems because I think people's needs change like I was in a B6 TN for a long time and then I you know scaled way down to pocket rings because I just didn't have the need for a B6 and then obviously the pocket became I used that for a year and then it wasn't functioning for me as well so here I am back in the B6 so people's needs change and I just think you know I, I don't get why everybody has to you know <laughs> I guess have an opinion on other people's planners and planning styles like live and let live people um so yeah that's basically um as many questions as I guess I can answer because I did actually get a lot more than I was anticipating but I think I've kind of answered the majority of them um, and I've flipped through this whole planner so I am actually going to take this out now and I'm super super sad to put this on the shelf because it's just you know this is my this has been my life and it's got so many good notes and memories in here um, but I did you know pretty much the whole of June I ran out of paper for note taking so I am ready to move on to book two um, and yep ready to take lots of notes again so that's my um, flip and if any of you have any questions or, or comments let me know uh, let me know what planner you're using for um, the rest of the year 
and if you have finished a notebook um, tag me on Instagram if you share pictures so I love seeing you know like chunky planners chunky notebooks um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to see more pictures um, of my planners then definitely come over to Instagram that's definitely where I share a lot more thanks for watching and bye